Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with Ezra chapter 7, starting in verse 1. I'm going to read something incredibly riveting to you today. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, after these things, in the reign of Artaxerxes, king of Persia, Ezra, the son of Sariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalom, the son of Zadok, the son of Ahitub, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Merioth, the son of Zerahiah, the son of Uzi, the son of Buki, the son of Abishua, the son of Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the chief priest. This Ezra came up from Babylon, and he was a skilled scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. The king granted him all his requests according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. It was a little genealogy. Wasn't that great? Wasn't that exciting? There is so much facetiousness in my tone right now. It makes me cringe almost a little bit. Now, actually, I can prove to you, I, I spoke a few days ago about how sometimes there are boring parts of the Bible you should read them anyway. I found a really good example of how, how one's actually important because this one I can actually point to a very specific reason why it's important. This is in the middle of another, not a genealogy, but another giant boring section, the section on which I pre preach the, um, you know, some parts of the Bible are boring thing on, and that's Ezra chapter 2. And if you go down to Ezra chapter 2 and read in verse 62, it says, These sought their listing among those who were registered by genealogy, but they were not found. Therefore, they were excluded from the priesthood as defiled. They could not function in a priestly manner, which Ezra was a priest, because their genealogy was messed up. His genealogy was in good shape, and not only was he able to work in the priesthood, he was one of the leaders who helped rebuild the temple, refound Jerusalem at that given time in history. So even though we don't give a crap, we just don't care, it was super duper important to them back at that time because if you remember the law of Moses, only the sons of Aaron could be priests. Not just the Levites in general. The Levites, their brothers, were servants to them as they did their priestly ministry but only people who were definitively identified as being of the seed of Aaron could be priests. So even though it's completely unimportant to us, it's very, very important to God. He took, enough, he took time in his word to, to say who the priests were and who the priests weren't. And it was important to the Jews because they were actually trying to follow God at this point in history. So even if it's not important to us, even if we don't always get it, because there are some genealogies where I'm just like, oh my gosh, snore. I read them anyway. But it's important. If God put it in here, it's important. So read it. And who knows, maybe in a few years after I've done some research, maybe the, I, have a, I have a few ideas of which parts of those genealogies are important. Maybe I'll discover a little bit more. So just keep reading. Don't give up. Keep, keep plowing on through. And you know what? As some, some of these things, as you give them time, to, as you give them your time to read them and you give them your time to think on them, you'll start learning some things from the Bible. Things will start clicking and start making sense. You'll be like, okay, that's not completely unimportant after all. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.